Once again, I'm Jerry Robb. I'm president of the Civitan Club, which means that if anything goes wrong, I get to blame the last president, <laughs> Lauren Brown, which works for me. The Civitans were formed in 1917, 90 some years ago, in Birmingham, Alabama, and we now have 27,000 members in 27 countries and 15,000 junior Civitan Civitans. Uh, Terry Crouch, who asked me to please not mention him again, but I have to because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. He founded the Duluth Civitan Club in 2003, <clears throat> and we now have 41 members, and we are very active in Georgia. We're the only one in Gwinnett, so we want all of you to join. We, um, we have a brochure. You, you may be sitting on it. We'll put it in your chair. We would like for you to read about it. Come and join us for lunch. And anyone that joins the Civitans this month gets a free trip to the Cayman Islands. Can I say that? Okay, Buford. <laughs> Bu Buford works. It's kind of like, the, they're, they're sort of the same thing. Duluth has been blessed with some great mayors. In my, attention, in my opinion, the best mayors have been the three ladies. Alice Strickland was the first mayor, first mayor in Georgia, as a matter of fact. Then we had Shirley, and now we've got Nancy Harris, which we hope we have her for at least 14 years, unless she runs for president. <laughs> we, we could use a Duluth Presidential Library. When I, was reading her, when I was reading her bio, there's just too much to tell you about. She's got more degrees than a thermometer. She graduated from the University of Georgia. She got a master's degree from the University of Georgia, a special degree from Georgia State. And it just goes on and on. And I would love to now introduce her, Nancy Harris, Mayor of Duluth, future president. for coming back to the State of the City Address. This is Duluth High School. A little over 2,000 students and over 57 different languages in one building. That is definitely the vision of Duluth. That's what we're going to look like. We are so lucky to be a global destination. People from all over the world Google 30096 and they find out about Duluth. And because we are rich with our diversity, we have become a global destination. When people, when I ask them, why do you come to Duluth? They say, it's the city of opportunity. It's definitely a world-class city. Well, we're moving on now, moving on to the east side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky. is definitely moving up, wouldn't you say? <laughs> we are so proud to be here. We've been in great locations every year. But this year, we chose this place outside of the city limits because it is a global destination. With the arena in this complex and the Hutchins Fine Art Museum, we are located in a very much of a global area of Duluth. 
Now, even though this is not in the city limits, we will be very open, surely, into annexing this <laughs> into the city limits, if you would let us do that. <laughs> Duluth is also the home of a geographical phenomenon. And many of you drive over it every day and you don't even know it. It's the Eastern Continental Divide. And if you look on the screen, the yellow line going through the map is actually the Eastern Continental Divide as it goes through Duluth. The railroad used this information when they put the railroad through Duluth in 1871. And the reason is the high elevation and fewer bridges. The Eastern Continental Divide is going to be a way for you to track where we're going today. I want you to look on here as I talk about the different projects. Duluth has about 35 or more different projects in the works right now, from the grant writing phase all the way to the shovel ready phase. And today, I'd like for you to notice how these projects fall along the divide. The first environment we're going to talk about is the demographic environment. And last year, I introduced to you the Healthy City Index. And if you remember, this Healthy City Index had six different environments that a city or an organization should keep in mind when they're looking at the progress of their city. Today, we're going to look at all the different environments and where the projects fall, and we're going to begin with the demographic environment. We think it's important that we understand who our customers are. Now, demographics is much more than cultural diversity. Demographics is really understanding who lives in your city. Now, we're talking about the fact that we have poverty in Duluth, we have homelessness in Duluth, and we have adults with special needs, in addition to all the languages that we have. It's also important to know from the U.S. Bureau, Census Bureau, the recent data says the average age in Duluth is still around 35 years old. The average income is a little over 66000 a year. There are about 9,000 households in Duluth. 37% of those are rental property, which includes apartments. 